Hey Legionnaires and welcome back, we're here with another part of our Persian campaign for the new world mod, Rome 2 Total War. And we are playing as Persia. And, uh, well, as you can see, we are uh, at war with a lot of people, we'll put it like that. I mean, you look at diplomacy, and it's a lot of red, There's, like ever so slightly bits of green here and there, but you know, a lot of red. And uh, Armenia is kind of our main priority at the moment, uh, they seem to have endless amount of land at the moment to be honest um, but Egypt are also now invading our lands and uh, they have this big old stack here and I've been thinking I've uh, been thinking I might build a uh, a force here to basically counter and then go into the Egyptian lands I've got a lot of money now I've realized I've got 2200 it's more than I've had in a a good long time and I think it's about time we took the, the war to Egypt. And we have uh, an army slot left. So I'm going to raise another army. I'm going to put some cavalry in there. So that's what Gazak is lacking in a garrison. And uh, I'm going to build some... Um, I think I'll build some Spar Barra, I think, for now. They do good amount of damage. And uh, we'll buy some archers as well. And uh, yeah, that's where I'm going to leave it. I'm going to end the turn. We're going to probably... Continue our expansion east, deal with Bactria as we can. Probably go through their lands here up to Bactria. Avoid uh, annoying the Parthians anymore. And uh, yeah, we'll just deal with Bactria and then this region here. Then we can always come down to Pura. We can come and conquer them there if we need to. Um, we might be fine there, I don't know. I mean, we have an, uh, a huge stack here. Oh yeah, we might need to go to Farada first, deal with uh, that. But I mean, we should be able to deal with this sort of... a. Uh, this sort of force if they they play stupid and we can get them on the attack or on the defense sorry um but yeah so we're gonna probably end the turn and we're gonna see what happens where the bacteria will attack us egypt did attack us and egypt attacked us where i thought it might uh so i mean good thing i put a general in there um this garrison should be able to hold these immersory egyptian levies these guys aren't great got militia hot plates Pikes is going to be the issue, but we can deal with them. And for Ptolemy, the, the second is the pharaoh. Okay. Well, we can see what we can do with this. So I am going to uh, face him on the battlefield. Probably use the streets to my advantage. So I'll see you guys in a moment. Okay, so we are back on the... Uh, well, we'll say the, it's really a battlefield. But, I mean, it's not really, I guess. Um, but we, <laughs> we're going to basically try and hold the city. Try and hold some of these... Uh, choke points the main cap point is here uh, I am probably gonna try and hold them in this tiny little choke point there I will do the same over on this side with one unit of uh, Takabara I'm also gonna put another one over in this choke point I don't think they'll come any further wide than this I've got plenty of Persian brigade that can go into the choke points Whatever required. Um, I think I'll have three here. And I'll stick one round here on this side. Just can watch the flank. My general will be here on the flank as well. So he can go out and go around and harass stuff. I imagine they'll be silly and send their cavalry at me first. I'm perfectly fine with them doing that. I'm going to put all my archers along here. And these are all really good. I mean, these are actually my better archers. So I'm going to stick them like there. And then I've got my spar barret. And I've still got... One unit of spears left. Um, I guess I'll keep it over here in reserve for, to help that choke point. My spar barrel will be just going up to put out fires wherever. So we'll just start the battle and we'll see what happens. Uh, I imagine Egypt will send its uh, entire force forward. I will not engage any pikes. I will fall back if I am forced to take on pikes. I'm also going to try and focus those guys down as much as possible. Hopefully they send their Egyptian cavalry in first. If they do that, that's great. Um, I don't really want to engage the Royal Peltast if possible. It's apparently very even. Evenly balanced. Um, whether that's the case, I don't know. Let's tell you all to hold fire. And you can only fire on stuff that I tell you to. Like them. They are a target. We're probably going to need to tell my uh, Persian Brigade here. I mean, that actually wasn't a great charge. Um, you guys also hold your fire. You're, you shouldn't be firing at stuff. They have broken. Excellent. Persian Brigade is now uh, basically dealt with. Or not, doesn't need to deal with them. Uh, we can have our spears probably about there. 
pikes, start firing on the pikes, whatever you do. I mean, if we can um, hold these guys in place, we could probably... What else? There's pikes here. Okay, shoot down these pikes. Yeah, they're going to do what I thought they would. Be AI stupid. So I'm going to send my general around. I feel like we're going to need these guys a lot quicker than I thought. Uh, militia hot pikes. Yeah, just hold your ground. And then just don't let them. Uh, actually, get my spell barrel up to shoot down the Persian uh, pikes. Probably a good idea. And I can actually send around this unit. Because it's freed up. My general is now free. He can do whatever. Send in them. Um, as I expected, my pikes are breaking. Uh, I'm going to send a spell barrel over here. Along with the Persian brigade. I'm going to set my other Takabara there. My men have fled the battle. That is not so good. They can hold there though. That's great. Uh, send a pick top, uh, my Persian Brigade in. Cavalry go in. Kill all their archers. Now their pikes aren't set up properly and looking at us. So we can shoot them in the flanks and just like do a lot of damage. This is a huge blob here. So I might turn some of my uh, archers and stuff to look at over here. My, They're already great, great, great. Yeah, this is a huge blob here. I really need to turn some stuff just to shoot this. You've run them down. Great. Now charge them down. Our general is under attack, but that's all for a good reason. All for a good cause. All for a good cause. Right, Sparbara, carry on shooting in here. Just keep shooting into this blob. There are so many men to kill in there. Egyptian slingers keep running them down. My spa, uh, my attack. They've broken. My spears are broken here. Get out of combat, archers. Charge into the back of them. Need to do some hammer and anvil as soon as possible. Right, just charge into the back there. That's where you needed. Lots of stuff rousing here now. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Yeah, look at that chain route we've just caused. I couldn't ask for anything better. Oh, that's glorious. Oh, that is glorious. Charge, men. Charge, take the advantage. Shoot every single man. Look at this. That is glorious. That's what I want to see when we're killing the AI. Shoot these men to death. It is turning in our favor because look at that chain route. You love to see chain routes like that. Um, Spar Barrow, you can carry on. We've got to just run down as many of these guys as possible. I mean, the thing is, though, I mean, they're never going to be as strong as before, which is always great. Right. Take the advantage to them. Every infantryman needs to go into combat. Look at that. That is glorious. Run these guys down. I mean, what a great start to the episode. What a great start. An easy victory over uh, over these guys. I feel like the cavalry need was needed. Uh, we are going to obviously go on and recruit more troops. And we're going to take the advantage to against Egypt. But uh, we needed to... Uh, I mean, we needed that cavalry for the little flanks. There. I mean, the infantry did okay. Um, like when the uh, Takabara went round. But I mean, definitely when the cavalry charged in the back. Oh, that was glorious. Um, we'll tell all guys to hold fire. I mean, it is only garrison troops. So it's not the end of the world. But even still. Run down these mercenary Egyptian archers. I mean, they're pretty awful anyway. The enemy general is dead. Excellent. Actually, that's not a great thing. But we're going to end the battle. Um, I mean, that's the, that's the faction leader dead, I guess. That's a good start. Uh, we can deal with that. Uh, but yeah, 679 kills for my general. Jeez. Shame we can't see the results of like some of the uh, garrison units. That would be really good. But, uh, I mean, their general did get 156 kills. That's not too shabby. We do need to be careful of the more superior Hellenic infantry. But, uh, 
Yeah, we did quite well. I mean, we eliminated the pikes pretty easily. Only one of them, like one of them, getting reasonable kills. The other one did awful. There, that that force is now just finished. Uh, I mean, he will get another like general, but uh, and have a fresh general. But I mean, that's it. You can't have a fresh army. He's actually spared Farada for now. At least one more turn to sort of recover some garrison troops. And they are coming for. Armavir, by the looks of it. That's fine. I've got plenty of men there to keep an eye on. And Rhodes is here. I just need to break away from flipping Seleucids at this point. There's just too many armies here. Temple tax. Alexandria. He's got pirates. Well. War declared. Cimeria and Armenia. Okay. Again, can deal with that. I can happily have that happening. Uh, but yeah, I mean, these armies are just made up of rubbish anyway. I mean, they, apart from their Rhodian levies, which I guess are like their Rhodian slingers, they're pretty good. Apart from that, I'm not too worried about anything. Um, Manticore's Claw. I mean, I could actually probably take this to fight to them. Don't know what I'd get in the ultra resolve, but um, might do it in a moment. I'm going to give you... I'm going to give you Commander for now, and I'll give you also... Public order. What would happen if I did attack you? You'd run away. Okay. Well, we could actually kill this whole Egyptian army. I'd rather have that than him recruit mercenaries and come back another day. 71. Yeah, we'll take a 71. Excellent. Right, that's one less army to deal with. I'll take the wealth because those, there's no prisons to give back to. Um, yeah, this army is pretty safe here. And I'll recruit a load of... I'll recruit, recruit more archers. That's a great start. Um, maybe some Persian brigade, brigade for now. Don't really want to make this a too elite army. I mean, that might be it for like poor stuff. I might put in more elite stuff soon. It'll just make you even better in combat. Um, and we can get you back to Articoona. Actually, we could get you a lot further. Susea... You're fairly happy, but not the happiest. I could get you back to Farada, actually, and that'd be safest. Then let's send the Spy onto Bactria. He can have a look and see what's going on there. Nothing in Bactria. Excellent. Well, we will be definitely attacking at Bactria when we can. Um, I mean, Susay is going to have a garrison eventually, but not just yet. Technology. Um, I don't know. What are we going to do in technology? I could do stuff down here, improve my uh, armies. I mean, I'm going to need to do that to get better horse trainer and stuff like that. And um, Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Um, what have we got in the economy section? Do we just like to improve my economy when possible? Foreign policy? Yeah, I think I'll go with that. It gives them massive more tax. I, think really, I mean, I could go down here. This helps with growth and buildings and stuff. But no, we'll, we'll stick to the economy for now. Try and just build that economy even higher. Like, bigger. Bigger and better. My armies here need to really be moving out as well soon. And it's just whether I declare war on... I don't know. If I had to finish the wars with Bactria, and then I can position my armies right, I can just strike Parthavia, I can strike um, Drangania, and then we can sort of just stay there and stabilize. Um, and then I can just... Yeah, I can break away from Seleucus, but Seleucus might actually die anyway. They don't have much left. They don't have much left at all. Um, who have Egypt now got as their leader now? They've got a, a Cleopatra sort of woman. I don't know. don't know who that is. Um, but do I want to build this to improve garrison here? I mean, it does help with public order. It's great. Yeah, let's let's build it. Um, helps with just generally everything. And then we'll end the turn. And we'll see what we can do. I kind of want to strike for armor, uh, so to, I can just move that army back from Artaquona to Susea then. 
and we avoid any sort of confrontation with that army to start with. And it's just starving. It's just, oh, Armenia's got all its armies there. Armenia can keep all its armies there. Uh, Rhodes and Pergamon are also stacking up stuff, but nothing too scary. So I'm kind of fine with that. Parthavia have a large stack, and that's the only large stack left that I'm kind of wary of if I go to war with the Seleucids, really. I don't think Drangonea have got anything. Oh my gosh, look at all this. Tylus. Um, okay, we've got lots of unseasonal conditions. Um, concealed armies. Okay, Quartermaster. Okay, right. This army could and may... I'm going to move it down here, and we're going to make a strike for Hatra soon. Don't know if we can just cross the river here, but if not, then we'll go all the way around. Um, I'm going to build... We still have 1,100. I'm going to build some alumni swords. Just two. Just two. And that will probably be the amount of spending I, I do. I don't think I'll do any more. You, sir, will march on Susea and defend it. And you will go from Frada up to Artaquona. And garrison here. And then you can get ready to like muster your army and go for Bactria. Because, I mean, this is just mainly made up of... I mean, there is some good stuff there, but at the same time, this is just mainly rubbish. I'm going to just basically allow you to probably rest maybe one more turn. Then you can march out. This army can just stay, keep going between all three cities. And, uh, well... Just stop any sort of attacks by uh, Bactria with this army. That's all I need to do. Just deny him attacking anywhere. Make him keep starving himself going backwards and forwards. Even if he's not starving himself. Uh, and that's kind of it. That's all I can do really. I don't really want to strike those armies there. But yeah, I've just moved the spy closer to Bactria I guess. But yeah, I don't really want to strike with my armies on any of the... Um... Well, any of the like roads or Pergamon or anything like that. I know they've gathered now in Armenia either. I don't really want to strike them. I mean, I could go for Armour Sota. Now, I might move my Spy and just keep an eye on it. Armour Veer is pretty strong. Rose is moving Army South. That's okay. I could strike for um, the Pergamon Army now. But, I mean, it's a bit of a risk. Um, one of your parties is... Organize a banquet in your capital, threatening your hegemony. What do you do? Attend, boycott, forbid, and break. I'm gonna, I'm gonna attend. Turn up, show my face, embarrass them. I don't know. We'll do something. Um, and then here, I'm gonna put in Susa needs. Susa needs. What does Susa need really? Let's put an administration post in in Susa. It's on the border. It could be of a threat in the future. And I'll put a garrison thing in there just to basically... Oh, it ups attacks a little bit. And it also gives me more public order and a garrison. Um, my army here, the Manticore's Claw, will move into Hatra. Ah, and we find an army. Ambush. We certainly shall. Egypt has lots of armies across the river. We'll kill this Rhodian army. And I might fall back myself. Um, I'm just going to kill the captors. Where do we stay? I don't know. The other Rhodian army must be nearby. If I... I mean, I can go there. Not quite back in my own lands, but it's, an, it's a start. And then I'm going to put in... Recruit... Uh, Chevron's fit... Infantry recruits. I think Armavir could hold on it to its own. Yeah, definitely. I'm going to see where the armies have gone. One down there. Not really strong enough to beat me. The other one is a long way off. I'm going to try and strike at Armasota this turn. You force marched to get there. So, I mean, you could strike, but unlikely. Hmm. If I force march myself, then to here, then he's very much out of reach. And then this army can come cover either way. I mean, Pokemon, we now know that we can beat a, a Pike army with this basic garrison pretty easily. So, that's not a real issue. 
Um, so I think I'll just end the turn. Oh no, I was going to march on Bactria now. Which I will do. I will march on Bactria. Um, let's go to there. Let's build a infantry tent just in Articorona so we can then, uh, well, I mean, it's going to bring down our food, but that's not the real issue. Um, you can't reach anywhere significant. And, I mean, this is a strong army, but it's not strong enough to be that. So, yeah, we'll march from Bactria, and then that should basically probably end it. I mean, they're having a rebellion next turn anyway, so that might help us as well, them rebelling. Um... I mean, how the mighty will fall. I mean, Bactria is having a real hard time. I mean, they're actually going to try and expand. And Parthia is beating them? I don't know if these are Parthian rebels or... That looks, I don't think Parthia would have had a rebellion like that. Armavir? Yeah, they're going to strike Armavir or try. They won't have enough there. Um, also, I have walls. I'm not scared. Ah, oh, Rhodes is coming back north. And... God knows what's happening in Dranganir, and my army here in Bam is starving. Bam just needs to, like, I don't know. Yeah, right, um, I gained influence. Yeah, I showed them up. I impressed all their fools. Don't know if that's what I wanted to do. I kind of need to balance it, because I'm a bit too... Um, overpower... Too powerful, some may say. Oh, they went back and took this, I see, Bactria have. So they got another stack down here. Well, I'll go up to Bactria first, go and deal with that. Maybe they are. Are they rebelling up there? I don't know. But we can send my spy down here, go and see what they have in the way of forces. They have a relatively large stack, but not a big one. Okay. We can deal with that. We have 1,100 coming in this turn. So clearly we had some money join us from. Well, join us. Um, be acquired. Anyway, Armour Saved is going to be taken. We can take this. This is going to be the issue, though, that we're now expanding ever further east, uh, westwards towards even more enemies. We've taken that. That's, this is my most expensive and uh, pa most powerful army, I'm pretty sure. I mean, the one in the east is not too bad either. At least we now hold all of Armenia. So this is all our land. Uh, we need to really go up and crush like Trebizos and uh, Fasis up here. I mean, we'd be quite happy if um, Simaria came down and just crushed this, but we'll keep an eye on this army here. And, uh, well, what else do we need to do? I mean, Armasota, what's it got? It's got food. It's going to get a garrison thing, which is really good. Um, I don't know if I need more food, though. Food's great and all, but I already have... Oh, no, it's not. It's uh, Tush, that's Tushpo. Okay, it's got a uh, light horse studs. So that might be useful, actually. Um, and Rhodes is going to march on Gazaka. I don't think that's enough for them to take that. So I'm going to just normal march into my own lands. And I'm going to march around. I'm going to go the, like the other way for Hatcher. But I now also know that they have a lot of garrison in there. Luckily, Pontus is not at war with us. Thank the lords. Um, so that's, there's not too many borders with enemies uh, like after this, like going westward actually. It's just whether they like cross into my lands, the enemies, uh, and come dare fight me. But I mean, like Jura, Palmyra, we need to go down here now and deal with stuff here that uh, the Egyptians have taken. And so we're going to end the turn again. I'm going to see what happens. I mean, I need to really just break away from the Seleucids or wait till they die. Hopefully someone can get on with that. Looks like Bactria's also sent its armies maybe towards Artaquona. That's not the end of the world. Um, I mean, they're going to raid in my lands. Uh, that's rude. Pergamon also is assaulting somewhere. But, I mean, Rhodes is going to just try and force march his way through my land. And I'm going to kill them for that. Arden agent exposed. That's not the end of the world. Administration post in Susa. Excellent. Right. At your we can't kill you. Kill them all. We can't kill you. But I mean, you're going on to Ectobana next. That's a pretty strong fortress you're going to try and assault there. Um, what's the size of this side? 14. Gazaka's 18. Should be okay. Um, I mean, Armasota, I'm pretty happy. 
I mean, you're starving up here. You're not. Let's bring you south so we know what we're doing. I mean, this is a 16 here. This is not going to be able to breach the walls of Amravir. This I'll give one turn to replenish. I'm going to start the besieging of Bactria, I think. Because, well, Bactria is just in a bad spot in the world. Uh, though we're not going to take it, apparently. We'll, we'll build siege towers then. How long? Three turns. I don't think they have three turns in them. Uh, can I hinder any armies? Let's hinder this. Let's assassinate this guy. Able to recoup the cost though. Okay, he failed but recouped the cost. Where that other army went? Oh, they went and took Zadraka. Brilliant. Not what I needed um, to open up any more lands, but I mean, at least they're taking it away from Parthavia. Um, yeah, I'm probably going to have to bring back like the Manticores, this one here, the Manticores Claws, going from assaults in that way and start it going the other way. This army is now freed up. I'm going to move it to Armavir. Uh, just for now, I don't think it like Tushpa either is under threat. 16 probably can deal with its own issues. I mean, Pokemon can go back. I can go back. This army can come across very soon. Um, so I'm going to end the turn, I think, once again. I mean, it's pretty dodgy, like, everything going on. I mean, this army here also needs to do some stuff. But I'm, I might just get rid of this, actually. And then put in something happy. Because we don't need the food now. Um, I'm going to... No, I'm going to hold off on building stuff. I'll build something happy there. Because that will just possibly slow down the uh, deterioration of unhappiness. Uh, you, I'd like... Unlocks to commit arson. Uh, I don't know. Do I want that? Yeah, let's put in arson then. End the turn. We can take Bactria next. That'll be a big one, because I'm sure that's holding... Yeah, they're trying to get... They're, oh, they're going to abandon Bactria. They went down to their place they've just taken off the Dragoneer or whatever it's called. Okay. And they are moving their armies, because they... I guess they're just a bit threatened. I might try and take out that 16 sack. Here they come. I thought they might. They're going to try and come and take Gazaka, and it's very good odds for me. What is this? Roads are yet to go, though, so I don't know if I want to just throw away this. So I might fight this myself, and uh, we'll see what happens. But, I mean, this is like... They've got one general, which is a hot... Uh, which is a pike. The rest are hot pikes. This should be okay. So I'm going to fight the battle, and uh, I'll see you guys on the battlefield as we fight for Gazaka once again. Okay, so we are back on the battlefield, and we're back at Gazaka. And we're doing the same formation that we did before, just minus we don't have a general... Uh, now to support us. So, I mean, that's not really the end of the world. We can just flank around like we did before with the uh, infantry on that side. And we can just see what happens. I mean, they're going to charge the cavalry first. Um, so I'm going to probably just open fire on these guys in a moment. There we go. Open fire with a couple of these guys. And see what we can do. I mean, these are mercenary uh, Tarantines. So, I mean, these guys actually, we probably want to deal with as much damage as possible. Because they're like skirmish cav. And we never got through all our ammo last time, so... Why not burn through it this time? It's only garrison troops. They get all their mu their ammo back. Oh my gosh, look at that though. Burning through these guys. Um, yeah. <laughs> They're dead. Put it like that. They are dead. Shoot these guys as they come up. Or shoot their militia hoplite. I'm kind of fine with that. Start sending around the Takabara here. And maybe the other one. I'm a bit more quite. I'm more happy to attack these guys because I mean, these are only medium spears against medium spears. They should be a fairly even fight. I mean, they are sending in their general here, so I'm actually going to shoot their general because he's a pike unit. You can shoot them. And um, the spar barrow, come up here, start shooting stuff. Start shooting all their infantry. Uh, get some per Persian brigade a bit closer. That's what I was trying to say. Jeez, I struggle trying to say that. Persian brigade. Infantry, keep going around. Infantry, keep going around. It's going to be hard chasing their archers down, but let's just, just shoot them instead, actually. The Spar Barrow can carry on shooting these guys in the front. How are they doing? They are combat even. Okay, how are you? Losing decisively. Go in then, Persian Brigade. We're going to need you. 
But we are actually breaking the uh, first militia hot plate. Shoot the mercenary pill tests. Just destroy these guys. They're losing decisively now as well. Okay, go in combat, Persian Brigade. Um, I'm going to send another one over here. This seems like the main issue of areas. Go in there. You carry on this way. Battle is turning in our favor. You're correct. Uh, shoot these guys. Shoot them. And come over here and shoot more stuff. Excellent, excellent, excellent. We are doing well. Cut these men down. My general, go into combat, kill these guys. And there we go. We're going to just surround all these guys again. Uh, can you just come back? Go into combat, Sparbarra. You might as well. Um, just shoot these guys, please. The pikes are causing an issue. But what doesn't? Uh, actually, shoot these guys. Come on. Shoot these Greek singers. Shoot them. I'll charge them, in fact. Um, you come down this way. All my archers here need to just shoot into combat there. I mean, nothing better to do with your time. I mean, this is just coming... This is getting easy now. The Gazaka, just defending Gazaka is becoming... Uh, just easy. Just too easy. Give me a challenge. I mean, we're still trying to break these guys, but... We're doing our best. Come around. Uh, bring them round. Bring these guys round. Shoot them. Archer, stop going into combat. Um, just set, set yourselves up. Don't be idiots. My archers would stop going into combat and get themselves killed. That would also help. How are you doing now? You're still losing. Just shoot these guys in the field. Like, come on. And surround these guys. Easy. Stuff's starting to break ever so slowly. There we go. We route all them. And then just send everything in to kill it. Why not? They're getting shot on the back now as well, so... Shoot their general. He's the main target, but I mean, look at this mess. Look at this mess. It's, I actually kind of want to watch this. Oh my gosh, look at all the arrows coming in. And there's a huge chain route going on. Oh my gosh, yep, yeah, huge chain route. Uh, cut as much of this down as possible. Hold your fire. Hold your fire. Hold your fire. Got to cut down as much of this as possible. The enemy general is dead. Uh, again, not really the greatest thing to want to do. I mean, I need as much of that dead as possible. I mean, we're going to get a lot of these uh, militia hot plates, though. These poor guys. Just speed this up for the sake of the uh, sake of you guys. And yeah, I mean, that's probably a fair amount dead. I don't know how many. Decisive victory. I lost, yeah, 400. There we go. We can look at the garrison results this time. Um, Archers did very well. 192, 249 for one of my spa uh, And even the, like the Persian Brigade does well against like militia hoplites. 157. Can't really complain there. Um, I mean, yeah, I mean, their pikes did well, actually, 170, but again, the pikes always do well. They're just fighting people with, uh, like, wooden shields and spears and cloth. Uh, it's not hard. But there you go, we, we defeated another army outside Gazaka. If Rhodes comes, I will be very much upset. Uh, but there you go, cut them down. 
Rhodes is falling back. Excellent. That's what I like to see. Rhodes falling back. Being a coward. Looks like Parthavia is going to fall back to its capital, which is not a bad idea. It should do that. Uh, household, att uh, household attrition, I was going to say, but that's not the case. Uh, attrition and... Um, well, yeah, that's about it. Um, I don't know where the Bactria will fall this turn. I don't think we've got a good enough chance. No. Two more turns, that's fine. I'm, I can live with two more turns. Let's keep an eye on the main army. I can see this guy. He's just going to spend his time trying to, I don't know, annoy me. Uh, try and kill this guy. Slow him down. Uh, they convinced a member of the target's household to join them, though. Does so that mean he's in my family? Yes, it is, I think. Can you adopt him? Into the family? I don't know. There you go. We now have this guy. Uh, he could... I don't know. We'll give him a promotion. That'll help, I guess. Um, and... Oh, there you go. That one. There we go. Just a... Oh, I don't know. Oh, no. There we go. I could marry him. Seek a spouse. There you go. He's got himself a spouse. Got yourself a spouse, I see. Um, you seek a spouse. There you go. We've got another. We've got another noble, just like that. Excellent. Right. Uh, and now, what do I do? Do I go for Trebizos? I think so. If they've got no armies there, even if they have an army there, could I stop it? Uh, probably not. I could go for Amasia, but it means going through Pontus's lands uh, to get there. And they ha oh, there's a Pergamon army here as well. Maybe it's a bit of a time to hold off on them. I'm gonna try and chase down Pergamon. Don't need to do that. Um, Rhodes, I can also catch. Excellent. Right, so we can get Rhodes. We can kick them out of out of here. Uh, I will. I will release captives. Gives me fifteen grand, uh, or fifteen hundred. Just spare them, but and that's a beaten army anyway. That is one beaten army. Um, I don't really have much I, to build. I mean, ah, yes, we'll build this. Which one gives us the most? Uh, a, an Adobe Maker, whatever that is. We'll take that. Oh yeah, I destroyed the farm over here. So we can build a shrine, a cultural shrine, to uh, basically help with public order. Um, you don't need anything just yet. The other army in Bactria is somewhere. You are starving. That is not great for you. Um, whatever the reasons. But that is probably where we're going to wrap up today's episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and a comment to show your support. And until next time, Legionnaires. Bye.